Namaste, beautiful brothers and sisters. Um, I'm sure we're live. Uh, it doesn't actually tell you when you go live, but um, namaste. So I'm just basically making this video. Um, hopefully people are going to come and join us. And um, I, I feel like I've I've really opened up quite a major can of worms. And so I really think that we should just have a little discussion about uh, what's going on. So let's just see if anyone is going to come and join us. Um, oh, it's not coming up on there. I'll just be able to see if anyone's actually here. Okay, we've got one person. Please could you say hello when you get here and um, let's just get the algorithm going and by liking, commenting, engaging, and uh, that will um, spark off, uh, you know, the the messages to other people in our community to come forward and be part of this, um, this video. So I wanted to make this video because um, basically, you know, many of us, are observing um, that a certain well-known spiritual celebrity has gone down a path of um, be becoming a born again Christian. And I just, I, I really, really smell something fishy here. And um, I, I really wanna call it out because the last thing we need is someone with the status of Russell Brand suddenly making out that this is the highest spiritual path and then getting a load of other people on that path. So I want to I want to talk about why I feel it is it is the opposite of ascension. The path of born again um being a born again Christian to me is the opposite of the ascension path. And I mean, obviously there are very, very various nuances to do with some people that come to that. Ultimately, we are all on this path to realize our own sovereignty and the fact that we are all fractals of God's source energy. And we've all got different ways of getting there. And if some people have this journey and this path of like, like born again Christianity, like ultimately we are all going to get there. We're all going to arrive home to the true awakening of who we truly are. But what I have observed with this specific path that is a bit like a trap, to me it feels like a trap. It's like a magnetic trap. And um, what what I have observed from, from that sort of like higher perspective is that this is a path that has basically been designed to um, create a false glamour, a false spiritual glamour, because there it's just talking about this, this figure, Jesus, and Jesus is real. Like, I love Jesus. Like, me and Jesus, like, we're best mates. I, 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 I feel at one with Jesus. I feel like I live with Jesus. I feel like Jesus is my companion. I, Jesus is actually a higher vibrational being. His actual name is Sananda. He is a fifth dimensional being. And um, he has incarnated as Christ, as Krishna, as many of these amazing um, deities. And, and he exists. Like, I 100% know Christ is real. Magdalene is real. They live on the spiritual realms because this realm, this is the third dimensional frequency. And as I so spoke about in my um, transmission, the earth is like a radio station where all of these different frequencies are being played. And, and we are currently calibrated to the third dimensional frequency. But, but within this earth, within this universal structure, within this multiverse, structure that God has created um, there are different frequency bands and and different beings live on different frequency bands so I've met Jesus like I know Jesus I converse with Jesus Jesus Sananda is is a beautiful beautiful amazing brother but but he also is symbolic of of the Christ self of, of that he's my brother he's telling me I'm your brother Jen I'm your brother Jen that means that we're the same it means we're from the same family it means that God is our parent and and, and we're the same same Jesus Jesus is not saying to me oh you know come to me and come through me and blah blah no no Jesus is saying I am you Jen we're all children of God God is my father God is your father like we're, we're all brothers and sisters you are that Christ you are that avatar 
are. You have spiritual powers. You have uh, access to multidimensional um, timelines and consciousness, just like I do. You have you have faith that can heal. So I don't see Jesus. I don't I don't make Jesus an idol. And that is what a lot of the born again Christian path does. It creates this false idea of like put, having Jesus as, a, as an idol. And, and that's what the Bible says. Like their, their Bible says, like, don't make any idols. Like if you make an idol, you are holding up your own evolutionary process. And that's the real thing that I wanted to talk about is that what I have observed from going down that path of like, you know, becoming a born again Christian is that really you were setting yourself up to, to halt your evolutionary process because your true evolutionary process is, is about self. It's about the at man. It, it's like, we are all fractals of God source energy and we have all come forth to actualize as God source energy. So if our greatest mission is to actualize as God source energy, we don't need some go between being or avatar. That's just holding up the, 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 the reclamation, the claiming of who I am. Do you see what I mean? And so, but but most people in this world are so spiritually ignorant. They have, they have, everyone is asleep. Everyone is lost. And so someone like Russell Brand comes along and he's like, oh God, I found the way guys. I was really, really in the darkness. And oh, I found Jesus and blah, blah, blah. I've got baptized and you know, this, that, and the other. All these lost souls are gonna be like, oh, take me there, God, take me there because I'm so lost. And then they act because they don't realize that that's actually, that's not the path. Like that might be a stepping stone. Like admittedly, there might be some people and, uh, and they'll do that and they'll be like, hold on a minute. This is not resonating with me. Um, like this is a self-sovereign universe. I don't need no priest. I don't need no, no Jesus Christ figure. Like this is a self-sovereign universe. I'm here to crown myself. I'm here to actualize as God consciousness. That is my mission. Whether I am awakened to it, whether I am aware of it or not, that is my mission. And so like really that's that's the goal and that's what my community my teachings are all about are about about understanding life from that perspective which is not conducive to the third dimensional perspective that's why people like to you know people uh, misunderstand me and they because they're arguing from that limited place of of their programming and I totally totally get it like I really really love everyone but I I do have a little bit, bit of a thing with with born again Christians because um, like now, have I met any personally? My uncle Kieran became a born again Christian and he was an absolute living nightmare. Like he was like the most hardcore born again Christian, shoving it down everyone's throats. Uh, and, you know, and, and, and I've had it close in my family. So I do, I am speaking from some, some experience, but, uh, but also born again Christians, they, they think that I as a true, true embodiment of a wild woman, I I think I give them the heebie-jeebies. So I think I think they kind of like stay away from me because I am literally the opposite of what their their sort of like conditioning tells them, you know. So anyway, I, I wonder if anyone's actually on this. Let's have a little look and see if anyone is commenting. Right, let, let's have a few more comments, guys, so that we can get this um, this live happening. And, and if you want to ask any questions or anything, um, you know, that, that you'd like me to speak into or anything like that, please let me know. See if I can actually see these comments. All I can see is five comments. That's so weird. I don't know why that is. Hold on a minute. Maybe I... The most hardcore born-again Christian. Shh. Okay, guys, that's really lovely to see your comments. Okay, let's just open it up. So this is why I feel it's a dissension path. I feel that it's a trap that, and, and you say stuck on this, um, it's like a record that's spinning around, you know, it's just like, a, 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 and you're not actually evolving because you've created this idol, this false idol. Jesus is just like, no, no, guys, what are you doing? Like, you are that, you are that, you are the Christ, Jen the Christ, Jenna the Christ, Leanne the Christ, Deb's the Christ, Julia the Christ. Like, we have come to realize that we haven't come to awaken to the fact that there was some dude 
dude who lived a couple of thousand years ago and and had a few mates like and his name's Jesus and blah 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 that's not the point of our revolutionary like crescendo do you know what I mean guys and that's what they're saying with all these born again Christians oh well done you've cracked the code you've worked it out it was all about Jesus yes 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 you're definitely going to heaven now oh let's get their name down she's going to heaven yep she's remembered Jesus She's remembered that that guy a couple of thousand years ago, the dude had the Bible written about him, what have you. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. What happens is you you, you fall on that path and you think, you, you know, you go, oh, I don't have to do my evolving. I don't have to do my shadow work. I just make, focus on Jesus. He's the perfect dude. Like, it's so ridiculous when you have eyes and, and a mind that understands. Do you know what I mean? And, and so you fall for it because it's a trap. It's like, oh, let's get people in the trap. We've got to get them in the trap. We don't want them evolving because if they evolve, then the battle for this, for this realm is over, you know, because the whole point of this experience is to bring the light from the high spiritual realms and saturate it within this third dimensional frequency. That's why we're here. We are here to actualize our avatars. We are here to actualize our angelic consciousness, our multidimensional consciousness. We are here to awaken in this projection of this experience. We're here to awaken as the creator, as the publisher, as the author, as the director, as the producer of the entire creation. We're not here to go, oh, it's about that guy over there. And like now, Bob, you know, jobs are good and jobs are good. And I don't need to do anything else. I've got Jesus. I'm, I'm part of the gang that came back to Jesus. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. What are you saying about this, guys? Resonate with you. I had a teacher friend who was so spiritual. She was also a white, which has only become a born again Christian and turned out to be a total nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> they want to make other people stop listening to him so they're trying to make him religious who knows um, uh, we're doing this grid work I'm ridiculously excited about how things are turning you won't go to heaven unless you go through Jesus yeah exactly I am I am Jen I hear you I grew up a little around the born again stuff give me the ick I felt it was so off yes so this is what's going on. It's a distraction. And that's why it has to be called out. People like myself, we have to be calling it out, you know, and saying like, come on, guys, are you really, really, have you really got your faculties together now? You can't put it on some dude. You can't. You can't put your whole evolutionary salvation on a dude. But that's what they're doing. That is what they're doing. They're going, I did it. I did it. I found the way. I found the way to Jesus. I found the way to Jesus. I found the way to Jesus. Like, that's it. I'm done. Right. What are we going to do? This is it, guys. It's ridiculous. Did he sell out? Hmm. There's something going on. I mean, back to the Mr. RB, there, there's something fishy going on here. I, I, I smell a rat. Because um, it's very irresponsible. But the thing is, we can counterbalance it. We're very, very powerful. The work that actually happened in the King's Chamber in Egypt was the most important spiritual moment of my life. I actually believe that. What happened in the King's Chamber on the 22nd of April 2024 was the most powerful moment of my earthly life so far. And so since that moment, there has been a, what I'm being shown is that the threads from the higher dimensional realms and the threads from the lower dimensional realms, they caught that day and, and, 
and and basically they're getting like really really tightly woven together because this is the whole point of the evolutionary process is that we are here to merge the spiritual or higher dimensional realms with the lower lower frequencies we're here to 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 weave these together and people like myself people like all of you who are truly truly good angelic souls that are in service to your brothers and sisters like we are doing this weaving but what happened in the king's chamber is what i spoke about in the transmission and it was so deep and i'd really wish that everyone could actually hear what really actually did happen i love you and i love jesus actual jesus as you said let's go don't stop So you see, guys, so we have to call it out because we're, we're disrupting that pattern. There's a, there's, a, there's a timeline, there's a war. This is the spiritual war. Welcome to the front line of the spiritual war. We've got Russell Brand over there. We don't know what happened a few months ago. So, something went down. Maybe maybe a little um, um, agreement was made. Who knows? Who knows? But I, I don't actually believe it was. I mean, he is an actor. I mean, he could just be fully acting. I don't know. I don't know, but, but something's gone down and it's uh, the Pied Piper is literally leading down the wrong path. Um, that 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 is what's going on. But we are here and we're going to disrupt that pattern energetically working with all the energies that were grounded and anchored in the pyramids on that date. And, and did you know that within about an hour of us doing the work in the King's Chamber, Big Ben stopped working? Did you know that? And these white horses galloped through London with blood on them within an hour. Did you know that? Like we literally, we we took back the timeline. We took back because the timeline, the Ascension timeline had been hijacked through a sleep humanity, through the ignorance of humanity. But in that moment, we we, we took it back. We completely and utterly, and because the the Christ, the true Christ consciousness timeline, is the is God's greatest truth, and because we anchored that on the three D with the five D and above, um, that the the timeline completely shifted, and everything has shifted, and that is what is going on. So, very 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 powerful work, um, and. I want to create ways to share it, which I will. But Deb says, hasn't he always been a rat? No, I, I, I mean, no, I don't think he has. Heather says, Russell Brown got baptized through the Vatican and he's a mason. Look at the 33. I've got 33 tattoos. It doesn't mean I'm a mason. I'm not a mason. You can have a 33. I'm 33. I'm everything 33 because of the 33 vertebrae in my spine. So I don't necessarily think that um, 33 is a um, thing. He said, tattoo on his wrist, he's a deceiver, not really Christian, not Christ-like. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, you can have a point. It's still integrating for me. It was powerful. Yes. So um, one thing I do want to say is that what I've been shown is that those souls that, that fall for that agenda, that born again Christian agenda, and they are so um they are at such a low level spiritually mostly when they pass over when they check out of this frequency and go back home to the higher frequencies um because their frequency is very very low and so they are very manipulatable in the astral planes and and there's actually a lot going on in the astral planes for us as as evolving souls and that's why we do this big work here so that we have our wits about us on the next stage of our journey and that's why we do this great great evolutionary work but because born again christians check out of their own evolutionary process because they put it all on mr jc um when they when they do check out of the frequency um there is bad shit happens literally bad shit happens and that is why this is all to do with the moon and what we know about the moon as being the portal for the um incoming and outgoing souls and then the moon there's stuff going on in the moon where where souls souls want to get get captured in the moon so that they can be go, go straight back straight back 
not back to source, just, just moon and then boom, reincarnated again. And this is the agenda. So it, it serves the overlords to have this born again Christian agenda, um, you know, uh, popular. So that's why we've got to disrupt it because it's absolute, complete and utter bullshit. It really is. And if it wasn't, I'd be the first to say, it's amazing, it's beautiful, I, like, I love it, it's amazing. If it, if it wasn't, but it is. And that's what I feel in my deepest, deepest being. And that's all I have to go on is, is my own feeling. So, one on one is a low frequency, it's a holy frequency, it's the OM in Buddhism as well, it can heal an enlightened mind. Yeah. So guys, what, what have you got to say about this? This is a really, really deep subject. I don't think I've ever done a live speaking on such uh, incredibly deep, deep subject matters. I'd love to um, hear what your thoughts are about Christianity and about, you know, I mean, what can we do? What can we do to, um, we just have to look them in the eyes. We have to find these brothers and sisters that are so lost and we have to look them in the eyes and say, you are that, you are that. You, you are Christ. You are Christ. I recognize Christ in you because that was the thing that I realized the minute I had my spiritual awakening when I was 21 on top of a mountain in the Himalayas and I had been chanting the mantra Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya for about 50,000 million times and my third eye blasted open and I went into full God consciousness and I looked at my brother, my soul brother, Chris, his spiritual name is Christopher. I looked at Christopher and I saw Christ in Christopher. I saw Christ. And as, and it was, so, it was clearer than day. It was just like completely apparent that this being is Christ. And in that moment where I recognized Christ in him, I realized it must be in me as well, because I wouldn't recognize it if it wasn't me. And in the moment that I realized it was me, I realized that every single one of my brothers and sisters is Christ. Every single one, we are all the same. We are all children of God. We are all personalities and individuations and fractals of God. And, that, and that's why I love my brothers and sisters so, 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 so deeply, so eternally, because I know who you are and I deeply, deeply honor the Christ being that you are, the holy, holy child of God being that you are. And, and I will always, always serve that. I will always recognize that. Like I, I will never ever be exhausted in recognizing my, my, who you are, you, every single one of God's creations. I, am devoted i have devoted my life to to pouring my devotion to you because you are god and god loves you and i had a glimpse into how much god loves you and and so i know that my role is to be the love of god in your life And that's, and that is it. And that's Christ consciousness, you know, and that's recognizing it. It's in all of us because we're all children of God. We're at different levels of our evolution, evolution. Some are butterflies. I, I, I feel like I've had my butterfly moment and then you get bigger, but you become a bigger butterfly and then you, you know, you transform that butterfly form. But essentially in this dimensional frequency, we're on this journey of caterpillar to butterfly. And then when we reach the state of butterfly, we keep growing, we keep transforming, we keep expanding, becoming larger, becoming more and more beautiful. You know, it's, we're always, always evolving. But the whole purpose is to um, this this great shift from from caterpillar to butterfly and butterfly consciousness is understanding that we're all the same. It doesn't matter if you're a caterpillar, you're equally as worthy of love as the most amazingly beautiful butterfly because you're at a different stage of your evolutionary process. But you're beautiful. God made you. You're beautiful. You see?
and that's and that is that's it that's christ consciousness is recognizing christ in everyone and it's all in nature it's everywhere it's absolutely everywhere christ is everywhere like quite it's not it's not some guy mr jc like he's that he's like oh yeah i'm that yeah yeah i'm that i'm that he's like who wants to be in my gang and i'm like bro i'm by your side i'm right next to you i'm right next to you and um we're really, really doing our best to to help our brothers and sisters not not get caught in these traps, you know. So I think we should all share this message. One person has shared this message. This is a very important message. One person has shared the message. You know, this has got to go out, guys. Otherwise, what are we doing? Like, this is a very, very important message. I can't be bothered with him. I've had Christians on my retreats refuse to join in meditation. <laughs> Shakti, that's hilarious. <laughs> Thinking wine in IB for God loves me. Anyway, there we go. Some 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 good old spiels from me today. So yeah, I think that's it. That's that's my message, guys. Unless anyone's got anything to say, who's here? Fifteen people. Who's here? Any any anything to say? If not, I think I'll just um yes, that's my message. Um of of course we love our born again Christian friends. I mean, oh my god, they are worthy of love and ten ten thousand more buckets of love to the born again Christians, like big time. Um it's it's so sad and um it's it is quite it's just quite a serious energetic issue that's going on and i think that we're going to have to address it in a transmission actually so yeah i think we'll, we'll, we'll have to we're going to have to clear that program because we've opened up this portal with the king's chamber now it is it's been taken over the angelics have taken over like fully million million percent so because of this we can manifest much quicker like i've been experiencing the most instant manifestations now because of the the portal that has been opened in the king's chamber and i invite us all to work with that portal and just visualize this this like beaming light this beautiful 5d paradise light coming into the tip of the the, the king's chamber and using that as a as a um magnetism tool to assist you in your manifestations it's very 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 powerful oh okay guys well i think that's my message um i love you all we'll get this message out to everyone and i'll send it to everyone on, on my email list and um i mean basically the things i would like to say are lingam worship have you seen the cover it's such an amazing cover isn't it guys i would wait a minute watch and see there's an awful lot we don't know and things going on behind the scenes Ooh. Ooh. but um yeah my lingam worship that is in the process of getting uploaded onto amazon it's going to be available on kindle it's going to be available on paperback and um it is a very very beautiful book about divine love and about honoring the divine masculine in the most purest exquisite way possible so uh, and understanding the context of the divine masculine warrior soul and how that differs from the divine feminine's soft and nurturing soul and therefore what the burden that what what a burden that has been for the divine masculine soul to to bear the brunt of those warrior codes those protective earthly physical codes and so the book is a invitation to have deep deep understanding and love and compassion towards the divine masculine um and and really really honor him for his bravery for being a masculine in this dimensional reality where it, it is um, a very different experience for the divine masculine than it is for the divine feminine um so yeah that's all happening and I'll post all the links and let every, uh, let you all know. So on that note, everyone, thank you so much for this beautiful live. Um, I look forward to connecting with you all 
and God bless. Namaste.